Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Hi, welcome to another video. Hello, Bobby. Welcome to Stress City. <laughs> hey, tell me about it. That's about the easiest way of describing it. So a lot of you are aware we are being recorded for a British TV show. And to that end, they come every so often when we've achieved something or something dramatic is happening and they record what we're doing and they come in stages. So they've got the story of the start to finish of doing up the place for the rental. And we had another six weeks in which to finish. So we had plenty of time to start and finish this outside kitchen, finish this outside patio area, make it pretty for people to stay in. You've watched us painting it, but we also want to put some sort of shade over the top of the patio so you can sit there in the sunshine, pretty lights up for the evenings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You, you can imagine. And as I said, we had six weeks in which to do this. Two days ago, they uh, contacted me and said, no, you've got a week. Pardon? Yes, we've brought you forward because it suits our agenda. So they've brought us forward and they need all their footage in a week by the end of a week's time and that week consists of not only a weekend obviously but it also a Valencian holiday so on those days it's going to be a struggle to get anything to finish anything I've ordered everything that I can off the internet and supposedly it's all going to be here in time so beds bedding um, mattresses. mattresses in fact we are actually due a delivery today yeah of some items but we haven't got a clue what they are but all we've been told is they're coming today <laughs> to be fair my list on the internet was like this long of stuff that i ordered that we were going to get in time when it suited us we've now got to have it all here so that the caves are mocked up with beds bedding on them etc as if somebody was actually coming to stay that day so we are going to be hopefully building beds if they arrive <laughs> etc yes the outside kitchen is not going to be done for the tv show we've put that to one side and they're not going to record that they're yeah. just going to they're just going to record the inside of the caves assuming we get it done so the delivery is called and what have we got a new mattress Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. so for the caves we are only keeping two mattresses that we already have because they are really good quality sprung mattresses in really good condition Everything else we're replacing. We're replacing beds for going under those mattresses and then all the other ones we're getting brand new beds and mattresses. And this is the first mattress to arrive. And that's not the size I ordered. I hope when I unpack it, it goes out and big. Because <laughs> I don't want a bed that size, that's for a child. <laughs> yes. These are memory failing something else, aren't they? They are. So I've ordered two big mattresses. Actually, looking at this one, I believe this is the one for our room. Looking at the size of it. It might be, it might be. And not the one for here, even though it says it's the one for here is coming today. Oh. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sitting, re-inflating, etc. But it might be about as big as this room. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. It definitely isn't to this room, it's definitely ours. Because look, you wouldn't want to get in and out. <laughs> Turn it that way and it should be fine, but yeah, awesome. Okay, so this is my side of the bed. Yes. And this is my side of the bed. Yes. And that's my side of the bed. The normal, yes. <laughs> um, you can sleep on that bit there. That bit, that bit of cling film on the floor there. Yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, actually, I do seem to remember many, many years ago, it was a, a German bash with the bikes, and we had a double celled airbed. We did. Yes, we did. One of the cells didn't didn't inflate did it because it had a little air in it it did inflate but it deflated yes so who had the inflated side me yes 
and I slept on a hard, cold floor. Today, we will be having a bed building day. We have ordered all the new beds for the caves and at the same time we have ordered a new bed for ourselves, which involves carrying very long bits of metal and a mattress up some really weird angles to get upstairs into our bedroom, so it's going to be interesting. But we're spending the day building beds. Now we can plaster, we can paint, without things getting too blue. However, building flat pack furniture, which the beds are, things can get somewhat heated. So it could be an interesting day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You um, wanted a bigger bed. I wanted a bigger bed. So we're using the bed frame from our bed down in the caves with a brand new mattress. We've got a brand new frame and a brand new mattress for ourselves. And then the new bed frames have come for downstairs. We're supposed to also be having delivery of the new mattresses for those. It's coming together, it's coming together. That's a huge bed. Yes, it's the biggest <laughs> bed I've ever seen. I mean, I'm sure people have seen bigger beds, but I've never seen one this big. Yeah. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> so we need to tighten up all four corners now. Yes. Strangely, the instructions say to use four bolts. Yes. At each end. Mm -hmm. However, it's set up for using six bolts at each end. Yes, there's extra holes. Yeah, that are threaded. So I'm wondering if that's a misprint and if we have four of the bolts left over, then we know where they go. Yeah. That's that all nicely fitted. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah. Oh. Check the instructions and it says the next thing to do is to put, I can't point and hold the camera, the wooden slats on. But as we thought, I've got four bolts left over. So in the instructions it didn't say over here, although there are three holes, to put a bolt in there. It said to only use two. If I take it back to this page, there it says use K times two. But we've actually been given enough to use K times three, so the instructions need fixing. Yes, they do. Because they've sent the correct number of bolts, but the instructions don't say to use them all. So we're going to do that now. Right. They're all in. Now it says, put the wooden slats on the frame. And the wooden slats have actually got, usually you get these wooden slats and they've just got a tape on them, just to hold them together so you can unroll them. This is actually the wrong end of Velcro. And this, yeah. is, and this is the other end of Velcro. Alternatively, the come which I believe the other beds we've got to do, with like plastic plugs go in at set areas yeah. and you have to put the wood into one end and then put a plastic plug on the other end and wrestle it and make it go in. Yeah. Uh, hopefully this will go easier. easier. What do we do? Do we step them out? Can you do it? That's what I'm doing and then we can always take them after. At the minute I'm just pushing down where the wood is. I'll go yeah. back and do it in the middle because it has to come off. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was. The, the middle, it's not on anything. No. Yeah. There's no sticking on it. No. Okay. Yeah. Next. Clean up the mess. Go <laughs> try and carry the mattress. So the mattress arrived, as you saw, all rolled up. We left it down in the caves to fluff up. It's been down there two days. So it's now at full width, at full depth, and we've got to carry it up here. Yes. Well, we couldn't do it in anywhere in here because the dogs would have used it as a bed. Yeah, in an ideal situation, we would have brought it up here, left it on the floor here in its wrapping to do its fluffing up. Much, much more sensible thing to do. But we have a dog who is a very, very diggy dog another dog who also likes mattresses and they would have just trashed it. Somewhat out of breath. That was not fun. We brought this up that. We had a David waiting. And the gap so that we had are actually less than this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Halfway through I said to me, I wish you bought an exercise down, but 
and then you know, it was trapped and it had to come up anyway. She went, well, do you want me to send it back? I went, well, oh, no point now, it's trapped. <laughs> it's got to go, it won't go back. <coughs> Good job I'm not planning on moving. Absolutely. <laughs> right, let's get this on. Awesome. Yes. Well, that was a mission. Yes, it was. It's high as well. I'm going to need step ladders to get onto it. I'm not getting anywhere near it actually because I've seen filthy. But yeah, it is. It, it is. is. High. Wow. <sighs> that is lovely. Very yes. nice. Well, that's turned out none too shabby. Yes. Look at all the space between the two pillows. <laughs> yes, so when you snore, it won't be so bad for me. <gasps> um, that is awesome. Yeah. Our deconstructed bed has now been reconstructed and is no longer our bed. It is now, ta -da, the double bed in the caves. Yes. Waiting for the new mattress to come for that. That looks really, really good. It really works in the room. It really works the shapes with the bedside tables I was able to get. Again, the shapes, really happy with that. It's gonna look fantastic. Next is these beds. Yes. Need to be built in there. Yep. But I'm hoping I can build one out here and then call Lillian because Lillian's got other stuff to get on with. Yep. Which is actually transcribing the words for a, for a video and it takes hours if you were uh, if you ever watch our videos with the closed captions i actually go in and make sure they're correct because Go, um, youtube's own way of doing it the, it doesn't understand words there isn't correct spacing it, it sometimes misses some all the words completely so i actually go in for every video that you see and put the words in the closed captions correct and then also tell it to do it in other languages and that's why you get to see them and they actually make some sort of sense yes <laughs> instead of gobbledygook yes so Lily's going to be spending the afternoon doing that yep and i shall build a bed yes and get it in here well before i get it in here i get this another clean yeah uh we'll lose that chair yes i'll get this bedding put away now nice and clean and safely bagged up and uh, leave you to it have okay, fun then. i'm sure i'll be fine um but i will call you once i build one hopefully it'll fit through yeah and if it does that's brilliant because i'm not tired for space yes okay so the instructions are really really basic you get all the parts but you also get some spares spare parts allen key and also a natty little allen wrench which is uh, a ratchet one that's cool and a little letter thank you for buying the products and, and various things right i'll see how i get on okay so there's a little bit of confusion because these pieces say a b and, and well a and two b's i worked out the two b's but there isn't a piece marked a however what is easier is the numbered where they need to go so they correspond that way so by my powers of deduction i've worked out that this piece here is a got one and two written on it but no A all done all tightened up just got to put them wooden boards on however I just will get Lillian just give me a hand to get this bed into here which it should fit but I'm not sure if it's wide enough the wall way before those slats come on just in case go on just in case you've got to take them off it is velcro that's so uh, that's not a problem but it'll be lighter and easier so then just let me carry it in and we'll put the thing on another good thing about this is it's got a, a tape a non-slip tape yes so when, you, when you put the mattress on it's not going to want to slip off the bed because it hasn't got a footboard or edges mm. like a kiddie bed or whatever yeah it's really good i love the construction of it it's really solid yeah really nicely constructed this is folded metal it's not welded on etc it's 
nice and solid. I like it a lot. Yeah, we've just got to wait for the mattresses to arrive. Yes. Now, after building the first of the single beds, I'm going to build the second one. So I've laid it all out because Lillian, I wanted to show Lillian exactly how simple it was. But I'm not going to follow the instructions exactly because I think that the method I'm going to use now would be easier. So the instructions say to put the sides to, together with this piece here and then put these legs on. And I think that'll, that's all right. But then you just, when you come to this other end, because you want it loose, it doesn't square up properly. So I should put these bars on first and then have that built and then I'll start at the other end. And it's easy look, five goes to five and again, and six goes to six and seven goes to seven. So you know you've got them the correct way around, blah, blah, blah. And then when you're here, you do it exactly the same. So the numbers mate with the corresponding numbers. And it's as easy as that. They look brilliant. Really, really happy. Yes. Very happy. Yes, yeah. Love the quality, love the look. I think it works in there. Yeah. Just all round, very, very happy. Just, to me, that table, bedside table now doesn't work, but... No, no. We don't have anything to replace it with. Um, but if you see anything that's, that would work, then we'll grab that instead. Yes. But we're not actively going to go out and shopping for one. No, 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 no. no. <coughs> We've got bedding and all sorts to buy for seven beds, for goodness sakes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Like, no, yeah. But that definitely works. Well, we said that we didn't think these were going to arrive. And we also said, but well, there again, it's not 10 p.m. yet. These ones have arrived. Yes. Just now. And it's 6.30. Yes. So that's cool. So, these are going on there. Hello. Oh, comes the book. Yes. It's the same brand as we bought for Abbott. Yes. And the other mattress is the same brand again. Strangely, it's coming by a different place. Yes. Anyway, right, let's get these on. Yes. Right, taking the banana skin off. Okay. That's one side. Yes. And that's how it looks on the other side. Yes. One is winter and one is summer. I don't know how you're supposed to tell which is which. No, and they don't tell you. No. Uh, I'm guessing the quilted side, the side you've got now, yes. is possibly the winter side because it feels a little bit more cushioned, so theoretically a little bit warmer. I'll have to email them and ask. Mm. Somebody did say in the comments they're supposed to print them with a, a smiley sunshine on one side and a something else on the yeah. other. Yeah. And that's it. Got polythene sheets over them, which is temporary until we can get some mattress protectors. So as you can see, in here we've got a double bedroom. We're going further on down. This is going to be the lounge area. Yes. And we've got a double bed in here. So we're going to have a double bed in here. We've got a double bed in here. And 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 do it again then, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't have that noise in the background anyway, would you? It's a Tuesday. Yesterday we didn't do anything because we had the cameraman here doing videoing for the TV show. Yeah, I've caught Today, a little bit of that. I was, you've got, yeah. that, got a little bit to show everybody, absolutely. Yeah. We're not supposed to, so just keep your tongue. Um, Today we've just done some bits and pieces of whitewash, so we haven't bothered showing you that. It's more whitewash, isn't it? But... Da, da, da. This is the mattress that was supposed to arrive. Well, I'm hoping this is right. It's a 190 base. We definitely measured it. And it definitely says 190 length. But through this bag, it looks short. You push it up to the end. 
Yeah. Maybe it'll expand a bit more. Maybe. Hope so. Now that plastic bag needs cutting so that it can go over the top in case the dogs come in. Like the, well, we've got the others, but I don't trust them. If they happen to sneak in, Mr. Diggy Dog, Mr. Monochrome himself, would dig it so it had a hole in it. Yes, it does. That is his speciality. Yes. You would not believe how many dog beds that young fellow has got through. So many. And Dover just stands there and looks at him as if to say, what are you doing that for? You're ruining it, I can't yeah. sleep on it now. Yeah. And Dover actually sometimes goes and stands over him and, and pulls on his, his fur, don't he, to get him to stop. It's yes. quite, quite funny, really. Right, it's covered up. We can leave it be, leave it to its own devices now. Yes. And uh, that's it. Done. And it's? For what we need to do. Yes, awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so strange day. Um, a friend of mine in town asked me to help out. He's an estate agent and he had a client con contact him who couldn't speak any Spanish at all. And I've always said I will help anybody out with English translation. Um, and basically I now have an hour in which to get changed and look the part as an estate agent's assistant to go and look at some houses with a gentleman. I'm a bit of a, I still haven't finished my coffee. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there you go, something different. I'm helping out a local estate agent. It's, it's nothing big. The, the gentleman wants to see two houses. They've got up for sale locally here. I'm being picked up and I'm just going as the interpreter. I've done hospital visits before. I've not done estate agency before. It's just the same. It's just tra translating, isn't it? Yes. At least one of them needs reform. It does. It's actually a very interesting looking property. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on it. Yes, it's we, just that we can't afford it. We don't have money to throw around to buy a house to reform, but it's a very yeah. nice house by the by the listing. So yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah, this this could pique my interest in other <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if we had a magic money tree. Oh yes. In addition to that, mm. we had um, contact from the TV company. Oh yeah, there's somebody else I've got to ring today. We yeah. had contact from the TV company and we had um, four more weeks of potential time for filming in which time we were going to have our outside kitchen finished. So basically the whole place is ready for filming now at the middle of November. Yeah. For them to then put on the TV when they put it on in the new year. But it would be a complete thing from from when we had the caves in an absolute mess to ready for yeah. clients so so basically everything that you've seen us do yes and will see us do yeah had to be done so that it looked right for the telly to actually be ready ready even if we had some other things to do after you know another month's worth of work to do afterwards for us for making it right for rental but they need apparently to wrap up filming this next week so i've got to ring them and find out how they're going to bodge the filming so that it looks ready because it won't be ready no. but they need to wrap us up apparently yes so that's another thing yes not happy about this not no. happy at all thanks for watching tales from the cave side if you like what we do please consider subscribing if you haven't already drop us a like and leave us a comment see you on the next one